Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is to access products and applications and data, developer must first connect remotely to a different server from there. The developers are able to access products and data. Which of the following does this best represent? Option A, a management plane. Option B, a proxy server. Option C, an out-of-band management device. Option D, a site-to-site -site VPN. Option E, a jump box. Correct answer is option E. Question is, during a risk assessment, which of the following should be considered when planning to mitigate high CPU utilization of a firewall? Option A, recovery time objective. Option B, uninterruptible power supply. Option C, NIC teaming. Option D, load balancing. Correct answer is option D. Now the question is a security engineer is installing a new iOS on the network. The engineer has asked a network administrator to ensure all traffic entering and leaving the router interface is available for the IDs. Which of the following should the network administrator do? Option A, install a network tab for the IDs. Option B, configure ACLs to route traffic to the IDs. Option C, install an additional NIC into the IDs. Option D, install a loopback adapter for the IDs. Option E, add an additional route on the router for the IDs. Correct answer is option A. Now the question is a false camera is installed outside a building to assist with physical security. Which of the following is the device assisting? Option A. Detection. Option B. Recovery. Option C. Identification. Option D. Prevention. Correct answer is option A. Question is a systems administrator needs to improve Wi-Fi performance in a densely populated office tower and use the latest standard. There is a mix of device that use 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Which of the following should the systems administrator select to meet this requirement? Option A 802.11 AC Option B, 802.11AX. Option C, 802.11G. Option D, 802.11N. Correct answer is option B. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is a technician receives feedback that some users are experiencing high amounts of jitter while using the wireless network. While troubleshooting the network, the technician uses the ping command with the IP address of the default gateway and verifies large variations in latency. The technician thinks the issues may be interference from other networks and non-802.11 devices. Which of the following tools should the technician use to troubleshoot the issue? Option A. NetFlow Analyzer Option B. Bandwidth Analyzer Option C. Protocol Analyzer Option D. Spectrum Analyzer Correct answer is option D. Now the question is a network administrator walks into a data center and notices an unknown person is following closely. 
the administrator stops and deletes the person to the security disk. Which of the following attacks did the network administrator prevent? Option A, evil twin. Option B, tailgating. Option C, piggybacking. Option D, shoulder surfing. Correct answer is option B. Question is, a client recently added 100 users who are using VMs. All users have since reported slow or unresponsive desktops. Reports show minimal network congestion, zero packet loss, and acceptable packet delay. Which of the following metrics will most accurately show the underlying performance issues? Choose two options. Option A, CPU uses. Option B, memory. Option C, temperature. Option D, bandwidth. Option E, latency. Option D, JIT. Option F, jitter. Correct answer is option A and option B. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, a network administrator discovers that users in an adjacent building are connecting to the company's guest wireless network to download inappropriate material. Which of the following can the administrator do to most easily mitigate this issue? Option A. Reduce the wireless power levels. Option B. Adjust the wireless channels. Option C. Enable wireless client isolation. Option D. Enable wireless port security. Correct answer is option A. Now the question is a network engineer is investigating reports of poor network performance. Upon reviewing a device configuration, the engineer finds that duplex settings are mismatched on both ends. Which of the following would be the most likely result of this finding? Option A increased CRC errors. Option B increased giants and runs. Option C increased switching loops. Option D increased device temperature. Correct answer is option A. Question is a network administrator is configuring a load balancer for two systems. Which of the following must the administrator configure to ensure connectivity during a failover? Option A, VIP. Option B, NAT. Option C, AP, IPA. Option D, IPv6 tunneling. Option E, broadcast IP. Correct answer is option A. Question is a network engineer configured new firewalls with the correct configuration to be deployed to each remote branch. Unneeded services were disabled and all firewall rules were applied successfully. Which of the following should the network engineer perform next to ensure all the firewalls are hardened successfully? Option A ensure an implicit permit rule is enabled. Option B. Configure the log settings on the firewalls to the central syslog server. Option C. Update the firewalls with current firmware and software. Option D. Use the same complex passwords on the firewalls. Correct answer is option C. Now the question is a branch users are experiencing issues with video conferencing. Which of the following will the company most likely to configure to improve performance for these applications? Option A, link aggregation control protocol. 
ऑप्शन बी डायनेमिक राउटिंग ऑप्शन सी क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस ऑप्शन डी नेटवर्क लोड बैलेंसर ऑप्शन ई स्टैटिक आईपी एड्रेसेस करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन इज अ नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर redesigned the positioning of the aps to create adjacent areas of wireless coverage after project validation some users still report poor connectivity when their device maintain devices maintain an association to a distanced ap which of the following should the network administrator administrator check first Option A validate the roaming settings on the APs and WLAN clients. Option B verify that the AP antenna type is correct for the new layout. Option C check to see if MU MIMO was properly activated on the APs. Option D deactivate the 2.4 GHz band on the APs. Correct answer is option A. Question is an employee reports to a network administrator that internet access is not working. Which of the following should the administrator do first? Option A establish a theory of portable probable probable cause. Option B identify symptoms. Option C determine if anything has changed. Option D ask the user to restart the computer. Correct answer is option C. Question is a network client is trying to connect to the wrong TCP port. Which of the following responses would the client most likely receive? Option A RST. Option B FIN. Option C ICMP time exceeded. Option D redirect. Correct answer is option C. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is a company built a new building at its headquarter location. The new building is connected to the company's LAN via fiber optic cable. Multiple users in the new building are unable to access the company's intranet site via their web browser, but they are able to access internet sites. Which of the following describes how the network administrator can resolve this issue? Option A correct the DNS server entries in the DHCP scope. Option B correct the external firewall gateway address. Option C correct the NTP server settings on the clients. Option D correct a TFTP issues on the company's server. Correct answer is option A. Now the question is an IT organization needs to optimize speeds for global content distribution and wants to reduce latency in high density user locations. Which of the following technologies best meets the organization's requirements? Option A load balancing. Option B geofencing. Option C public cloud. Option D content delivery network. Option E infrastructure as a service. Correct answer is option D. Question is a company hired a technician to find all the devices connected within a network. Which of the following software tools would best assist the technician in completing this task? Option A IP scanner. Option B terminal emulator. Option C net flow analyzer. Option D port scanner. Correct answer is option A. 
Question is the network administrator is informed that the user's email password is frequently hacked by brute force programs. Which of the following policies should the network administrator implements to best mitigate the issue? Choose two options. Option A, captive portal. Option B, two-factor authentication. Option C, complex passwords. Option D, geofencing. Option E, role-based access. Option F, explicit deny. Correct answer is option B and option C. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is a technician is installing a cable modem in a SO, HO. Which of the following cable types will be the technician most likely used to connect a modem to the ISP? Option A, coaxial. Option B, single mode fiber. Option C, CAT 6E. Option D, multi mode fiber. Correct answer is option A. Question is the management team needs to ensure unnecessary modifications to the corporate network are not permitted and version control is maintained. Which of the following documents would best support this? Option A, an incident response plan. Option B, a business continuity plan. Option C, a change management policy. Option D, an acceptable use policy. Correct answer is option C. Question is, a technician wants to deploy a new wireless network that comprises 30 WAPs installed throughout a three-story office building. All the APs will broadcast the same SSID for client access. Which of the following best describes this deployment? Option A, extended service set. Option B, basic service set. Option C, Unified Service Set. Option D, Independent Basic Service Set. Correct answer is option A. Question is, which of the following service models would most likely to be used to replace on-premises servers with a cloud solution? Option A, PaaS. Option B, IaaS. Option C, SAAS. Option D, Disaster Recovery as a Service, DRAAS. Correct answer is option D. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, which of the following connector types would have the most flexibility? Option A, SFP, Option B, BNC, Option C, LC, and Option D, RJ45. Correct answer is Option D. Now the question is, a network engineer is investigating reports of poor network performance. Upon reviewing a report, the engineer finds that jitter at the office is greater than 10 ms on the only WAN connection available. Which of the following would be the most affected by this statistic? Option A, a VOIP sales call with a customer. Option B, an in-office video call with a co-worker. Option C, routing table from the ISP. Option D, firewall CPU processing time. Correct answer is option A. Question is, a company's data center is hosted at its corporate office to ensure greater control over the security of sensitive data. 
during times when there are increased workloads some of the companies non sensitive data is shifted to an external cloud provider which of the following cloud deployment models does this does describe option a hybrid option b community option c public option d private correct answer is option a question is which of the following dhcp settings would be used to ensure a device gets the same ip address each time it is connected to the network option a scope options option b reservation option c exclusion option d relay option e pool correct answer is option a now the question is logs show an unauthorized ip address entering a secure part of the network every night at 8 pm the network administrator is connected that this ip address will cause an issue to a critical server and would like to deny the ip address at the edge of the network which of the following solutions would address these concerns option a changing the vlan of the wave server option b changing the server's ip address option c implementing an acl option d instating a rule on a firewall connected to the wave server correct answer is option c To find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description Now the question is a technician is consolidating a topology with multiple SSIDs into one unique SSID deployment Which of the following features will be possible after this new configuration Option A seamless roaming Option B basic service set Option C WPA Option D MU MIMO Correct answer is option A Question is network connectivity in an extensive forest reserve was achieved using fiber optics a network fault was detected and now the repair team needs to check the integrity of the fiber cable which of the following action can reduce repair time option a using a tone generator and wire map to determine the fault location option b using a multimeter to locate the fault point option c using an otdr in one end of the optic cable to get the liber length information option d using a spectrum analyzer and comparing the current wavelength with a working baseline correct answer is option c today we are discussing questions and answers for comptia network plus n10 to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description Our question is a user calls the help desk to report being unable to reach a file server the technician logs into the user's computer and verifies that pings fall to respond back when trying to reach the file server which of the following would best help the technician verify whether the file server is reachable option a net stat option b ip config option c ns lookup option d trace route correct answer is option d question is a network administrator determines that even when optimal wireless coverage is configured the network users still report constant disconnections 
After troubleshooting, the administrator determines that moving from the location to another causes the disconnection. Which of the following settings should provide better network stability? Option A, Client Association Timeout. Option B, RSSI Roaming Threshold. Option C, RF Authentication Ratio. Option D, EIRP Power Setting. Correct answer is option B. Question is a technician discovered that some information on the local database server was changed during a, tile a file transfer to a remote server. Which of the following should concern the technician the most? Option A. Confidentiality. Option B. Integrity. Option C. DDoS. Option D. On path attack. Correct answer is option B. Question is a network administrator is setting up a new phone system and needs to define the location where VOIP phones can download configuration files. Which of the following DHCP services can be used to accomplish this task? Option A scope options. Option B exclusion ranges. Option C lease time. Option D relay. Correct answer is option A. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is a technician is investigating packet loss to a device that has varying data burst throughout the day. Which of the following will technician most likely configure to resolve the issue? Option A flow control. Option B jumbo frames. Option C duplex. Option D port mirroring. Correct answer is option D. Question is a network technician is selecting a replacement for a damaged fiber cable that goes directly to an SFTP trans receiver on a network switch. Which of the following cable connectors should be used? Option A RJ45 Option B LC Option C MT Option D F type Correct answer is option D. Question is an engineer needs to restrict the database servers that are in the same subnet from communicating with each other. The database servers will still need to communicate with the application server in a different subnet. In some cases, the database servers will be clustered and the servers will need to communicate with other cluster members. Which of the following technologies will be the best used to implement this filtering without creating rules? Option A Private VLANs Option B Access Control Lists Option C Firewalls Option D Control Plane Policing Correct answer is Option A Question is which of the following physical security methods is the most effective to prevent tailgating? Option A biometrics in an access control vestibule. Option B IP cameras with motion detection. Option C smart lockers with tamper protection. Option D badge readers plus a pin pad. Correct answer is option A. Question is a network technician is performing tests on a potential faulty network card that is installed in a server. Which of the following addresses will most likely be used during traffic diagnostic tests? Option A 10.10.10.10 .10 Option B 127.0.0.1 Option C 192.168.0.1 Option D 
Correct answer is option A. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, which of the following would be used to enforce and schedule critical updates with supervisory approval and include backup plans in case of failure? Option A, business continuity plan. Option B, onboarding and offboarding policies. Option C, acceptable use policy. Option D, system life cycle. Option E, change management. Correct answer is option A. Now the question is, a technician is troubleshooting reports that a networked printer is unavailable. The printer's IP address is configured with a DHCP reservation, but the address cannot be pinged from the print server in the same subnet. Which of the following is most likely the cause of the connectivity failure? Option A, incorrect VLAN. Option B, DNS failure. Option C, DHCP scope exhaustion. Option D, incorrect gateway. Correct answer is option D. Question is a systems operator is granted access to a monitoring application, configuration application and timekeeping application. The operator is denied access to the financial and project management applications by the system's security configuration. Which of the following best describes the security principle in use? Option A, network access control. Option B, least privilege. Option C, multi-factor authentication. And option D, separation of duties. Correct answer is option D. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is, which of the following would be used to adjust resources dynamically for a virtual wave server under variable loads? Option A, elastic computing. Option B, scalable networking. Option C, hybrid deployment. Option D, multi-tenant hosting. Correct answer is option B. Question is a network technician needs to install security updates on several switches on the company's network. The management team wants this completed as quickly and efficiently as possible. Which of the following should the technician do to perform the updates? Option A. Upload the security update onto each switch using a terminal emulator and a console cable. Option B. Configure a TFTP server SSH into each device and perform the update. Option C. Replace each old switch with new switches that have the updates already performed. Option D. Connect a USB memory stick to each switch and perform the update. Correct answer is option B. Now the question is a network administrator is installing a new server in the data center. The administrator is concerned the amount of traffic generated will exceed 1 GB and higher throughput NICs are not available for installation. Which of the following is the best solution for this issue? Option A, install an additional NIC and configure LACP. Option B, remove some of the applications from the server. Option C, configure the NIC to use fun duplex. Option D. Configure port mirroring to send traffic to another server. 
Option E, install a SSD to decrease data processing time. Correct answer is option A. Next question is which of the following is a benefit of the spine and leaf network topology? Option A, increased network security. Option B, stable network latency. Option C, simplified network management. Option D, eliminated need for inter-VLAN routing. Correct answer is option A. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, a network administrator is designed a wireless network. The administrator must ensure a rented office space has a sufficient signal. Reducing exposure to the wireless network is important, but it is secondary to the primary objective. Which of the following would most likely facilitate the correct accessibility to the Wi-Fi network? Option A. Polarization Option B. Channel Utilization Option C. Channel Bonding Option D. Antenna Type Option E. MU-MIMO Correct answer is option A. Question is a new global ISP needs to connect from central offices in North America to the United Kingdom. Which of the following would be the best cabling solution for this project? Option A. Single mode. Option B. Coaxial. Option C. Cat 6A. Option D. Twin axial. Correct answer is option A. Question is, a chief executive officer and a network administrator came to an agreement with a vendor to purchase new equipment for the data center. A document was drafted so all parties would be informed about the scope of the project before it started. Which of the following terms best describe the document used? Option A. Contract Option B. Project Charter Option C. Memorandum of Understanding Option D. Non-Disclosure Agreement Correct answer is Option B. Question is a user calls the IT department to report being unable to log in after locking the computer. The user resets the password but later the day the user is again unable to log to log in after locking the computer. Which of the following attacks against the user is most likely taking place? Option A brute force. Option B on path. Option C, de-authentication. Option D, phishing. Correct answer is option A. Question is, a Fortune 500 firm is deciding on the kind of data center equipment to install given its five-year budget outlook. The chief information comparing equipment based on the life expectancy of different models. Which of the following concepts best represent this metric? Option A, MTBF. Option B, MTRR. Option C, RPO. Option D, RTO. Correct answer is option A. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is a network administrator wants to check all network connections and see the output in integer form. Which of the following commands should the administrator run on the command line? Option A netstat Option B netstat A Option C netstat E 
option D nets that N. Correct answer is option A. Question is which of the following would most likely utilize POE? Option A a camera a camera. Option B a printer. Option C a hub. Option D a modem. Correct answer is option A. Question is a network engineer needs to both data and telephony on an access port. Which of the following features should be configured to meet this requirement? Option A VLAN. Option B VOIP. Option C VIP. Option D VRRP. Correct answer is option A. Question is a technician wants to monitor and provide traffic segmentation across the network. The technician would like to assign each department a specific identifier. Which of the following will the technician most likely use? Option A flow control. Option B traffic shaping. Option C VLAN fagging. Option D network performance baselines. Correct answer is option C. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, which of the following provides guidance to an employee about restricting non-business access to the company's video conferencing solution? Option A, acceptable use policy. Option B, data loss prevention. Option C, remote access policy. Option D, standard operating procedure. Correct answer is option A. Question is an engineer is gathering data to determine the effectiveness of UPSs in use at remote retail locations. Which of the following statistics can, in, can the engineer use to determine the availability to the remote network equipment? Option A uptime. Option B net flow baseline. Option C SNMP traps. Option D, Interface Statistics. Correct answer is option A. Question is, which of the following is considered a physical security detection device? Option A, Cameras. Option B, Biometric Readers. Option C, Access Control Vestibules. Option D, Locking Racks. Correct answer is option A. Next question is the power company notifies a network administrator that it will be turning off the power to the building over the weekend. Which of the following is the best solution to prevent the server from going down? Option A redundant power supplies. Option B uninterruptible power supply. Option C generator. Option D, Power Distribution Unit. Correct answer is Option A. Question is, a security engineer is trying to determine whether an internal server was accessed by host on the internet. The internal server was shut down during the investigation which of the following will the engineer review to determine whether the internal server had an unauthorized access attempt? Option A, the server's syslog. Option B, the net flow statistics. Option C, the firewall logs. Option D, the audit logs on the core switch. Correct answer is option A. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. 
Now the question is a user in a branch office reports that access to all files has been lost after receiving a new PC. All other users in the branch can access file shares. The IT engineer who is troubleshooting this incident is able to ping the workstation from the branch router but the machine cannot ping the router. Which of the following is most likely the cause of the incident? Option A. Incorrect subnet mask. Option B. Incorrect DNS server. Option C. Incorrect IP class. Option D. Incorrect TCP port. Correct answer is option A. Question is a network technician has determined the cause of a network disruption. Which of the following is the next step for the technician to perform? Option A. Validate the findings in a top to bottom approach. Option B. Duplicate the issue if possible. Option C. Establish a plan of action to resolve the issue. Option D. Document the findings and actions. Correct answer is option C. Question is a network manager is configuring switches in IDFs to ensure unauthorized client computers are not, con connection, not connecting to a secure wired network. Which of the following is the network manager most likely performing? Option A. Disabling unneeded switch ports. Option B. Changing the default VLAN. Option C. Configuring DHCP snooping. Option D. Writing ACLs to prevent access to the switch. Correct answer is option C. Question is which of the following describes traffic going in and out of a data center from the internet? Option A. Demarcation point. Option B. North South. Option C. Fiber channel. Option D. Spine and leaf. Correct answer is option B. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, which of the following would be increased by adding encryption to data communication across the network? Option A. Availability. Option B. Integrity. Option C. Accountability. Option D. Confidentiality. Correct answer is option D. Now the question is a large metropolitan city is looking to standardize the ability for police department laptops to connect to the city government's VPN. The city would like a wireless solution that provides the largest coverage across the city with a minimal number of transmission towers, latency and overall bandwidth need are not high priorities. Which of the following would best meet the city's needs? Option A, 5G. Option B, LTE. Option C, Wi-Fi 4. Option D, Wi-Fi 5. Option E, Wi-Fi 6. Correct answer is option C. Now the question is which of the following would be the most likely attack used to bypass and access control? Option A. Tailgating. Option B. Fishing. Option C. Evil Twin. Option D. Brute Force. Correct answer is option A. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description.
Now the question is a network administrator received a report stating a critical vulnerability was detected on an application that is exposed exposed to the internet. Which of the following is the appropriate next step? Option A check for the existence of a known exploit in order to access the risk. Option B immediately shut down the vulnerable application server. Option C install a network access control agent on the server. Option D deploy a new server to host the application. Correct answer is option A. Question is which of the moving architecture reduces network latency by enforcing a limit on the number of switching devices on the frame's path between any internal hosts? Option A spine and leaf. Option B software defined network. Option C three tiered. Option D collapsed core. Correct answer is option A. Question is which of the following bandwidth management techniques uses buffers at the client side to prevent TCP transmissions from occurring when the ISP starts to drop packets of specific types that exceed the agreed traffic rate. Option A traffic shaping. Option B traffic policing. Option C traffic marking. Option D traffic prioritization. Correct answer is option D. Next question is users within a corporate network need to connect to the internet, but corporate network policy does not allow direct connections. Which of the following is most likely to be used? Option A proxy server. Option B VPN client. Option C bridge. Option D VLAN. Correct answer is option A. Today we are discussing questions and answers for CompTIA Network Plus N10. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, a network engineer is investigating reports of poor network performance. Upon reviewing a report, the engineer finds hundreds of CRC errors on an interface. Which of the following is the most likely cause of these errors? Option A, a bad wire on the CAT 5E cable. Option B, the wrong VLAN assignment to the switch port. Option C, a misconfigured QoS setting on the router. Option D, both sides of the switch trunk set to full duplex. Correct answer is option A. Question is a small office has a wireless network with several access points that are used by mobile devices. Users occasionally report that the wireless connection drops or becomes very slow. Reports confirm that this only happens when the devices are connected to the office wireless network. Which of the following is most likely the cause? Option A, the configuration of the encryption protocol. Option B, interference from other devices. Option C, insufficient bandwidth capacity. Option D, duplicate SSIDs. Correct answer is option B. Question is a network attack caused a network outage by wiping the configuration and logs of the border firewall. Which of the following sources in an investigation to determine how the firewall was compromised can provide the most detailed data? Option A, syslog server messages. Option B, MIB of the attacked firewall. Option C, network baseline reports. Option D, NetFlow aggregate data. 
Correct answer is option A. Question is a newly installed VO IP phone is not getting the DHCP IP address it needs to connect to the phone system. Which of the following tasks need to be completed to allow the phone to operate correctly? Option A assign the phone switch port to the correct VLAN. Option B statically assign the phone's gateway address. Option C configure a route on the VOIP network router. Option D implement a VOIP gateway. Correct answer is option A. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Now the question is which of the following is conducted frequently to maintain an updated list of a system's weaknesses? Option A penetration test. Option B posture assessment. Option C risk assessment. Option D vulnerability scan. Correct answer is option D. Question is an auditor assessing network based practices was able to connect a rogue switch into a network jack and get network connectivity. Which of the following controls would best address this risk? Option A activate port security on the switch ports providing end user access. Option B deactivate spanning tree protocol on network interfaces that are facing public areas. Option C disable neighbor resolution protocol in the layer 2 devices. Option D ensure port tagging is in place for network interfaces in guest areas. Correct answer is option A. Question is a device is connected to a managed layer 3 network switch. The MAC address of the device is known but the static IP address assigned to the device is not. Which of the following features of a layer 3 network switch should be used to determine the IPv4 address of the device? Option A MAC table. Option B neighbor discovery protocol. Option C ARP table. Option D IP config. Option E ACL table. Correct answer is option A. Question is which of the following would be the best choice to connect branch sites to a main office securely? Option A VPN head end. Option B proxy server. Option C bridge. Option D load balancer. Correct answer is option A.